Oh, creatives, today is the poster 1528, and um, there are a long time I didn't make a real tutorial. Um, yesterday um, I created uh, the poster mini series uh, number 12 named uh, Computer Sheet, and uh, I liked the minimalist uh, style. And uh, it was a really easy, easy poster to do. And I wanted to make uh, this little tutorial to show you how I did it. It's very simple. So let's start by a big square, a blue or any color you want. Um, let's set my uh, elements. I'll check uh, yesterday's poster like that. I will save sometimes. Check my typographic element one by one. And here we are. I drag and drop them to this file computer shift 13 here we are so for now I put them in a folder I name it typography I won't touch it for now now I want to set some white geometric face over the blue background so let's make them unperfect so the blue color of course a uh, white color okay Okay. Of course, if I am under the rectangle there, it won't appear. Okay, I'll touch the typeface there. Try to find the right place for each element. The line near yeah, whatever ID you can come from, use it, try it, and see what happens. See how the shape resonates together. Wow, what's that? The tree. The good time. Yeah, I don't need that shape, sure. Oh, so the goal here is to place all the elements on the background. Try to to make it look uh, relatively okay, and then play with the smudge tool there. Over, over that kind of uh, texture that I made with, uh, uh, with the wave effect I'll show you. I'll show you that very soon. 
So now let's make the background as well as possible. So I take pen tool to drag my anchor point here and here on the canvas and try to unify my shape there and build something around them. Yeah, that shape looks okay. Let's fill it with white, remove stroke. And here we are. Let's move it to white there. Let's make it smaller. And uh, maybe it works better if they are separated. Triangle. A large base triangle. And this is base and round. Let's see uh, how it works. So here we are. It's the end for this part. Um, so now let's uh, play with the effect. So for that, I select the rectangle tool. I trace a rectangle. I fill it with a light gray. I create another one that I put under. I fill it with a darker gray. And one more that I feel with a black color. I select both of them, I duplicate them by uh, pushing Alt and uh, Shift together after selecting. And it's done. Um, I select them both. I keep Control and click over the layer and rasterize. Let's place them above everything. Oh. So, I have them selected. I go on filter. I should command E to merge them, filter, um, where distort and way. Here you can play with the number of generators. Load, verify square, wavelengths. I play with the setting. A bit. Yeah, I know the image is uh, very small. You cannot really see what what happens there. But you can have a little overview. And once you think it's done, you press OK. Mm, okay. I need more generators, maybe. Distort wave. Mm, yeah, like this. Let's see what happens. Looks better. But I need something else. Oh, Control Z to come back. Distort wave again. Scale. No. Completed. No. Okay, that's okay. It will be used for the 
merge tool. So M, make a circle somewhere, try to catch the black, the light gray and the dark gray together. Control C, Control V, select the shape, go on the smudge tool, hide this layer. Uh, smudge tool and then yeah, maybe a little bit smaller 400 to cover the your, your uh, circle there and take it just a bit above under or on the side no it won't work and you can play with the shape And now you have a crazy extended shape there that looks pretty funny and it's perfect for the mini series I'm creating about computer glitches and screen screen glitch. I think it works pretty well for that thing. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so I continue to to make uh, to play with that in a different way. So it's pretty easy to do. And you can also apply the smudge tool over the tab face once you rasterize it and you can come up with a crazy crazy shape like this Rasterize, you go on the layer, control, click, you go down, rasterize type, and then you can apply the this much to over your side face a little later, and uh, you try to compose something. With it, So I'm moving my, uh, my shape there, the topography element, and see what uh, works best. Try different things. Let's make a big one. So it doesn't work at all. Should go down a bit there. Maybe the M is too dark.
the E is over too long, way too long, simple clear. Yeah, okay. it looks better. Select the background and now Chrome Twitter. Okay, if you want to select them like this, you can dance bigger. Yeah, it's okay. I want it to remain uh, readable. So I don't make it too complex. Same thing goes, I'm gonna be bigger. Put my number there and yeah, select the smudge shape. There. Now it looks like a pack of letter. Like a heart shape. Make the wall bigger. Mm -hmm. This. Let's create some smudged tool, uh, smudged uh, shape. So I continue, same principle. Copy paste this shape, smudge tool. So this one is pretty weird. So we make it smaller. Four hundred something. Maybe a little bit more. Five hundred. Uh, Six hundred twenty-eight. See what happens. Perfect. Let's continue. Let's try a bigger shape. Place it over here. It's much too bigger. Again, it should be that not too big. Don't use it zero. Well, for not a zero. It's less uh, charming when it's uh, anything. Let's cut it. Take it over here and make it more. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, choose smaller. No, yeah, something that does not work well. Let's play some elements in a different way. Select my shape there and continue to make some shape. Maybe. Not too much circular. Let's try the polygon. Oh. Not too much. It is a very too much. Mm. 
Jo, i teraz... Let's see... Hmm. I got it. The bad face with some some letters looks the same. I have the same hate. Then some others, like T, the S, the 1, the, the Amos looks similar. It's not something I want. It creates a world effect. So let's make it much bigger. Dark, dark, dark number one. Yeah, that looks relatively okay. Maybe I'm not happy with the E there, so I remove it and create another one. Here we are, and it looks better. Maybe I should make it bigger. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. So, you think I'm done? Of course, like usually. I should play more with shape and uh, try to find a better way because they are all always a better way to, to deal with, uh, with it but I have other things to do and uh, I wish you to have a great day see you see you next time bye